you work with UNICEF for many, many occasions. Now, what makes you come back to Kenya? What, what is it that Kenya gives you that no other country in East Africa, no other country in the world gives you when you come to Kenya? Uh, the interesting part about Kenya mm -hmm. and why I keep coming back to Kenya and also working with UNICEF mm -hmm. is the fact that I have always met students mm -hmm. that are very, very interested mm -hmm. in actually in the future. Okay. Um, and, and when I say they're interested in the future, it's not just talking about them saying, oh, I want to build a nice ship, mm -hmm. but it's students that are, have the interest, they know what they want mm -hmm. to start with. They're well educated, mm -hmm. you know, they were stu they're very studious students, and they, they, they have good grades. Okay. So that actually is the key thing, that's actually what the schools are looking for. Mm -hmm. Those students that will do something different, that will actually you know, add value in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Because it's not enough just to get students, yeah. but students that can have value. Because we have students from all around the world that yeah. will be coming to the school. Yeah. Over 60 nationalities represented in SPJ. Mm -hmm. So we want students that you know have something to contribute. And I've, I've always seen that in Kenya. It's been fantastic. The quality of students, I think, was certainly something that we really uh, wanted to come back and speak with. Mm -hmm. um, the students had really good questions. They had excellent grades. Mm -hmm. uh, but more importantly, the, the staff at UNISURF. <laughs> um, certainly the people working on the Canadian accounts, mm -hmm. um, Beverly, Liz, mm -hmm. Salome, Maureen. Mm -hmm. um, they've just been really excellent to work with. I'm always excited before I'm going to meet students and, mm -hmm. and potential students and, and their you know their schools and their parents and, and and so forth because this is a real you know rare opportunity for them to to get in touch with the direct kind of line of information from those schools themselves mm -hmm. you know um, when they get to talk to myself or my colleagues from other schools mm -hmm. they really can ask those questions that are only those of us who actually live and work and breathe these schools can can answer and uh, and then afterwards once they've once they've you know, talk to all the different partners, and they can they can make up their minds of what kind of thing they think is is suitable for them. They can then work with our local partners here mm -hmm. in Uniserv to work out, and their schools, of course, where they're coming from, um, to work out what's best for them and, and what's most suitable for their career aspirations. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a very important step along the line of deciding on what you want to do for your life and, mm -hmm. and your career. Kenya, mm -hmm. but obviously work-wise working with the UniServ, mm -hmm. so many great students in Kenya yeah. who are looking to study in the UK, Canada, mm -hmm. the US and Australia mm -hmm. and something like tomorrow is a great opportunity to, to meet potential students, mm -hmm. to talk about all the different countries, the different universities that we work for yeah. and the opportunities for them in those countries. So okay. yeah, that comes to Kenya once a month or so. Like thank UNICEF because I think that's the main reason to come back to Kenya. Um, this is our main agent here in Kenya mm -hmm. where we um, get most of the students that they come through our colleges. Um, I think uh, the way that you handle the first and everything is quite professional. Mm -hmm. You filter a lot of students uh, that to the way that to the point that you send us students that they are very interested in what we're doing mm -hmm. and they come straight to us to talk to talk to us. Um, the way the hospitality, the way you take care of us, mm -hmm. and, and the quality of the student, I think that's one of the main reasons I mm. keep coming back to these <laughs> UNICEF uh, mm. events, especially. Mm. I think Kaplan has been working with UNICEF for, I mean, since the beginning, mm. since, since mm. UNICEF started to be UNICEF, mm. and and this has been our main partner here in East mm. Africa. So mm. we started first with the UK, mm -hmm. which um, uh, which we have been working for lots of years, and we recently took over as well the US and Australia recruitment like two years ago mm -hmm. and we're developing that market as well. Mm -hmm. We're developing together with a UNICEF that I think that's, that's amazing. And so far it's going well so mm -hmm.